What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another New World video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the blunderbuss and my initial thoughts um, and just talk about like how this gun uh, I think is going to really fit into the game uh, in the current meta and how it's going to shift the meta over time. Now the big thing, let me just say up front, uh, this gun is actually really, really strong. Um, I think it's going to create a lot of fun situations for players and I think it pairs well uh, with most weapons and we'll talk a little bit about that here in a second. So when we get to the blunderbuss, uh, we, we have two trees. We have the containment tree, which is more about containment <laughs> and creating opportunities, of course. And then we also have the chaos tree, which is more just about DPS. Now, when we look at the containment tree, we have three abilities. We have the net shot. We also have the claw shot. And then we also have the Azoth Shrapnel Blast. So let me show you guys what these abilities look like. So with the Shrapnel Blast, it's your typical shotgun blast. It's kind of a spread shot, shoots a certain amount of projectiles, and you guys are kind of, you know, good to go. Now with this, it fires five shots in a horizontal fan. In front of you, while pushing yourself backwards, each shot will deal 58% weapon damage. The consecutive damage will deal 15% less damage than the previous hit uh, in order to combat uh, <laughs> broken mechanics, I imagine. Now, in terms of additional abilities, you can increase the reach up to 16 meters, which is an extra 4 meters. You can fire an additional 4 pellets with each use of the ability. And then each individual hit from this ability or from the Blunderbuss primary fire will lower cooldown of this ability by 1.5% and then with the Azoth bomb you fire a singular bomb down the center of the fan this bomb will implant itself into the world and explode dealing 100% weapon damage to the area so let me show you guys what that looks like so you guys can see this so if we use the Q it drops a bomb right here it could be really really good for getting in and out of situations especially when used in conjunction with the abilities or other abilities that are in this tree now when we get into the second ability it's a claw shot Shoots uh, forward a four-pronged claw attached to a chain from the muzzle. Uh, the projectile will travel up to 14 meters and cannot pull you upwards more than three meters, so you can't really use it to climb. Uh, if it connects to an enemy, it will deal 40% weapon damage and inflict root for one second before quickly pulling you towards them. Uh, this pull can be canceled by any uh, ability used or primary fi fire. It is also taunt gem compatible. So for my tanks out there that are using this to pull uh, enemies off of, you know, your teammates that are getting clapped on, uh, you can utilize this, this ability as a taunt. Now the additional abilities, uh, you get 8 stamina, restoration, landing a pellet even if block lowers the cooldown by 2%. And then successfully land a claw shot will automatically grant one loaded ammunition. If you currently have two, then your ammo will go to three. All right, so let's check this out. So we got Mr. Boar here. All right, you see? So we have an entry point, And then we can also use it as an exit to get out. Kind of rotate around, use Q, kind of get the pushback and kind of back up a little bit to create a little bit of distance. And or position for our next ability, which is the net shot. Now the net shot fires a large uh, size net projectile out of the blunderbuss dealing 40% weapon damage. The net is a large projectile that will slow anyone hit by 40% for 2.5 seconds. If standing still or moving backwards, the recoil from this attack will knock you further backwards. If moving sideways or forwards, uh, you will continue moving unhindered. Now with the additions, we get um, the cooldown reduction by 20%. We also get a 50% slow for the upgrade and then this also reduces the weapon damage to only five percent however uh deals 35 percent additional weapon damage as poison each second for three seconds so in combination you're looking at a situation where let's say you wanted to pull yourself into a target okay so let's pull ourselves in okay Boop. and then let's say we wanted to spread shot right now we drop the bomb, let's pretend the boar is still alive, and then we can pop the net in there, inflict a poison, and our regular damage to get out of a situation and recreate space while we're fighting a target. Um, all in all, I think containment uh, can be a lot of fun, um, and this is going to open up a lot of situations with a lot of different weapons that I think are going to be kind of aids, uh, specifically like Great Axe Hammer <laughs> or any type of melee weapon with any type of CC. Now, when we get into the next ability, we got Splitting Grenade, we have Mortar Charge, and we also have Blast Shot. 
Uh, these three abilities are going to be really, really interesting to use. Initially, when I looked at this, I was like, oh, this might be PvE only until I started reading the abilities and started to play with these. So splitting grenade shoots a grenade out of the blunderbuss that will bounce up to four times and will detonate after one and a half seconds. The splitting grenade can also be manually detonated by reactivating this ability key. Um, upon detonation, it'll create three mini grenades that will disperse and explode one second after landing, dealing 85% weapon damage in a three meter area. Area. Um, so the big thing here was splitting grenade when I heard it skipping I was like wait skip four times I was thinking it was gonna go a pretty large distance but it actually doesn't go that far so if you guys look at this uh, it bounces a little bit but you'll have to play position and then it turns into an AoE um, so you could really utilize this I'd imagine like a you know obviously PvE situations or like an outpost rush a siege anytime players are gonna be clumping up this could be a nice way to create some DPS now, in terms of additionals, uh, we have Soften, which deals 25% increased damage to, to targets greater than 50% health. Uh, we also have Delayed Escape. Any grenade hit grants haste, increasing movement speed by 20% for 3 seconds. And then you also have Incendiary Burst, which splitting grenade explosions inflict burn on hit. So, like, if you wanted to combine this with the poison from the net, um, that could be a really interesting situation, especially with poison and burn. Throw a bleed in there, too, and you can have some crazy damage over time. Now, when we get into the next ability, the Mortar Charge, you load the blunderbuss with heavy canisters for 15 seconds for 3 shots. Shots will no longer fire multiple bullets, but instead will fire a heavy, fast-diving, mortar-style canister that causes a tall explosion upon impact, dealing 126% weapon damage in a 3-meter area. If the target is 10 meters away or further, they will take 35% increased damage from the mortar. And then with the additionals, we have uh, Stamina Increase. We also have uh, a, a burst of speed, 50% move speed for 3 seconds, which is really fast, by the way. Uh, gain an extra canister, you can now fire up to 4 canisters. So let me show you guys what this ability looks like. So, we pop in the mortar here. Boop. Thunk. Reminds me of the 203 that I used to use in the military. And you can just fire it. Okay. So, you have 4 shots. So, you have to really pay attention to the arc and the trajectory of the round so you guys can aim this effectively. Um, it seems that it can shoot pretty far. So, understanding how to use that and when to use that, I think it's going to be key. Uh, but I think also it'll be a lot of fun. Now, last but not least, we have the blast shot. Blast immense wind out of the blunderbuss, knocking down any target immediately in front of you. Uh, blast shot deals 70% weapon damage. With the additionals, bl blast shot applies rend, so you got a defense break. Increasing damage applied to targets affected by this ability by 20% for 6 seconds. And then you also have the area 10 meters in front of you uh, remains influenced by the wind for the next 8 seconds. You and your allies gain a uh, 25% move speed bonus. Alright, so lots of movement here. So I want you guys to see how this looks. So just check this out when you shoot this. So it's a, a knockdown in this area right here. And it increases your move speed. This is going to be huge huge for positionals um just playing because you could pull yourself in with the claw essentially you could pop this ability knock everything down rotate back to like the net to drop like an aoe and get out uh or you could reposition with uh the azos shrapnel blast and still deal a lot of dps um I think this weapon overall is very opportunistic, and you start to see that when you look at the additional abilities uh, outside of the skill trees. So, like, for for example, in Containment, we have Future Endeavors. Uh, if you land five or more pellets with a single shot, you restore one stamina. You got Reloads giving you a damage boost. It's kind of like a mini buff of four by 4% 4 for 6 seconds. That stacks up to 4 times. You got Fortifying Aggression. Successful hits give a Fortify, increasing damage absorption. You got deep load, the uh, last shot loaded into Blunderbuss will deal 15% damage, and reloading gives you a speed boost of 40% that decays over one second. Now, in the last, with the unload, uh, the next shot fired within six seconds after triggering an, an ability will have nine pellets instead of six. Um, this effect can stack up to two times, right? So again, maximizing DPS on the containment with the extras. In terms of chaos, we're looking at Using an ability reduces all other ability cooldowns. So this is, you know, stacking the utility of the weapon. Every pellet that is a headshot reduces all cooldowns by 0.5%. So aim high, never die. 
on a roll, uh, triggering an ability decreases all damage taken by 3% for 10 seconds. So both of these trees are going to offer you some type of survivability. And then when we get down over here, whenever you take a hit and your health is below 50%, gain 50% damage reduction for force. Oh my god. This is going to be really good for tanks that are going to be running Blunderbuss. And then last but not least, double down once every 30 seconds your next ability you use will have its cooldown reduced by 50%. 50%. Um, I definitely, <laughs> I'm just going to say this right now. I, I, you know, from the sounds of it, just looking at it on paper, I think this is going to take some tuning. Uh, not, not for the weapon itself, but just because of the combinations that you can create with that weapon. Because you got to think, you got a lot of movement speed, you got a lot of knockdown, you got a lot of position play that you can move around that you can pretty much pair with anything. For sword and shield, you can get in, get out, right? You have tanks, or excuse me, you have taunts. If you're going to be running a Carnelian, so you can play for my PvE players. For my PvP players, you can be using the chain to get in. Uh, shield bash, uh, you know, drop the little speed thing down, knock down an area. You can throw the net down for the poison and assist for DPS. Especially if you're running with people who are utilizing a Great Axe Warhammer or Spear. Because you got a lot of CC crowd control. And then if you're pairing the Blunderbuss with any of those three weapons, not only do you have CC, you have ways to get in, you have ways to get out extra escape a safety button if things go wrong uh, you also have more damage over time to harass and you also have explosive ability and damage buffs which is going to be crazy and imagine a great x with you know a 50 percent movement buff. that's insane right because the blunderbuss with all the movement buffs can create some interesting situations i'm not even going to touch on the rapier you guys already know that's going to be good i think the hatchet uh for the hatchet you know people who like to just run away all the time uh this is going to give you guys more opportunities to deal damage while you guys are trying to get away um and then when you guys are engaging with berserk this is also going to give you an opportunity uh, to create some distance and some gaps uh, or opportunities for your team. Um, in terms of the bow musket, naturally, uh, the blunderbuss is going to give us uh, more opportunities to escape. Uh, so that's something that I'm really, really excited about, especially with the slows and the CCs, switching to the blunderbuss, say, maybe throwing the capture net uh, to create a bigger gap. And then, let's say, with the musket users, you're placing your trap to further deter your enemy. Or my bow users are using your evade shot or your poison shot uh, to stack on top of the other debuffs that the nets and stuff are going to handle. Not to mention that because uh, the bow is like mid-range, I think about 30 meters, 30 to 40 meters is pretty much you know where you're playing at. Uh, now that you have a weapon to cover you know, within the, you know, zero to 15 meters, uh, this is going to close some weaknesses that you may otherwise have, which I think would be a lot of fun. Um, in terms of Fire Staff and Ice Gauntlet, you guys already know that these are going to be OP, especially with the Fire Dash plus Fireball being able to crit now. Uh, with the two combinations here, that's <laughs> that's going to be really troll. And then Ice Gauntlet, Void Gauntlet, I think it's going to annoy a lot of people in combination with the Blunderbuss if they leave it the same. So Ice Gauntlet, naturally with the AoE plus the the ice spikes plus all of the slows on top of all the stuff that you could do with the blunderbuss especially it being strength intelligence is 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 going to be interesting i am curious to see what void gauntlet blunderbuss users are going to pull off but i definitely think that ice gauntlet is going to be a lot of fun to use uh with this weapon but but i think overall i think the blunderbuss pairs really well with a lot of stuff and i think it's going to create some really unique situations and meta changing things that a lot of people will be running uh don't be surprised in opr if everybody and their mom is running a blunderbuss though i will say that because it seems to offer a lot of forward team utility almost too much i'd imagine especially with that ability to increase movement speed and knock down targets in that area that's it's just that's kind of busted so with that being said guys that's all i wanted to cover today uh let me know what you guys think about the weapon overall in the comments and uh you know let's talk about it but with that being said guys thank you guys so much for tuning in if you guys got any other questions comments concerns let me know that in the comment box below and i'll be happy to assist and we will see you guys in the next video peace